Hello, everybody. I am Nathan Crane, a certified holistic cancer coach and independent health researcher with over 15 years in natural and holistic health and uh, best-selling author of Becoming Cancer Free. Today, I'm really excited to bring on my friend, Dr. Joel Furman, and he has a couple of products out that I wanted to share with you that I think are essential if you are interested in boosting your immune system. And we know the immune system is a vital part of our bodies to protect and defend against not only viral infections and bacterial infections, but also uh, diseases like cancer. So let me introduce Dr. Furman and then we'll bring him on. Dr. Furman uh, is an MD. He's a board certified family physician. He's a seven time New York Times bestselling author and internationally recognized expert on nutrition and natural healing. He specializes in preventing and reversing disease through nutritional methods. Dr. Furman is the president of the Nutritional Research Foundation and on the faculty of Northern Arizona University Health Sciences Division. Dr. Furman, thank you for joining me. Hey, Nathan, great to be here. Looking forward to our talk today. So you put together, after extensive research, and I know years of experience, um, a, a combination of two products I want to share with everyone. I've been taking these for a while now, and I and I and I really wanted to share them with my community. Uh, one is called Immune Biotech, uh, Immune Biotech, and the other is Ultra Cell Biotech. Now I know they have, because of the choice of ingredients, a synergistic, um, a synergistic effect in combining these two. But can you start? Let's start with the Immune Biotech. Talk a little bit about the ingredients that you chose to put in this and why these specific ingredients and what the science tells us about these ingredients. Absolutely. But you know, almost before I do that, I wanna share my passion that we have tremendous amount of data today on nutritional advances in nutritional science and that we can win the war against cancer. And we don't need all these people, you know, getting morbidity and mortality from COVID and pneumonia. In other words, nutritional science has made such incredible advances that we have the personal, we can take the personal power to live a life without fear and with great ability to, to live longer without getting cancer or heart attacks or strokes. And yes, it's, it's combining an excellent diet with the judicious use of effective supplements to actually get our immune system working on all cylinders. And then we become literally, we can live longer and not be protected against pneumonia, against severe viruses like COVID, and of course, dramatically reduce our risk. Or, you know, I'm confident that I'm not at, at risk of colon cancer and, and prostate cancer or lymphoma or leukemia. I'm, I'm, I'm living my life so I can be, so I can not have to fear diseases like other Americans do who are taking gambles, gambling with their life. And we know, so this immune biotech supplement, like you're bringing up first, um, we know the power that mushrooms have to protect against cancer. And they've been shown in studies, and we, we can go through a hundred different studies, not one or two, but there are studies that show, for example, 10 grams of mushrooms the size of your thumb reduced, in a large study, reduced women's risk of breast cancer by 64%. And then when they mix together green tea and mushrooms, it reduced risks of cancer down the road by 89%. Now, and so that, that study, when you're saying 10 grams, that what that study showed was 10 grams per day. So basically, a small amount of mushrooms per day, and it was a variety of mushrooms. When I remember reading the study, right, it wasn't, didn't have to be one kind of mushroom, but it was a variety of mushrooms. A small amount of mushrooms that people ate on a daily basis versus people who were eating little to no mushrooms, and they saw that massive reduction in cancer, which I found just incredible. Yes, and that's just one study. We can go on to study after study, but the point here is that when we study one type of mushroom, each particular type of mushroom, each mushroom contributes some certain pathways, biological um, ability to, fight, to improve immune function, not all the same way. Each mushroom doesn't build immunity in the same way. Some increase the ability of the immune system to recognize abnormal cell surfaces, to mark those cells to so the natural killer T cells and can recognize the cell to remove it or cause apoptosis. Other mushrooms stimulate the ergotheanine receptors that stabilize the DNA in cell and induce cell. Re there's, there's different mechanisms. And even though in that study, they used a haphazard blend of what mushroom people were eating, just they were eating mushrooms. But we put together, for example, and I eat mushrooms every day, but I also take the immune biotech to get this blend 
of 10 different mushrooms where each mushroom blend has been shown to impact anti-cancer pathways and, and immune supporting pathways in a different way. And we're talking about lion's mane, turkey tail, zooling, chaga, all different types of mushrooms that each individually have important properties. And most of us um, don't take the care, the time to eat like six different mushrooms or 12 different mushrooms a week of different types. So we, I eat whatever mushrooms I can get my hands on, shiitake, trumpets, black trumpets, um, you know, straw mushrooms. We eat all different types of mushrooms, but then I also take this immune biotech, which combines those various mushroom extracts with uh, extra beta-glucan, astragalus, and elderberry and other berry flavonoids, which enhances the effects. So it's really a tremendous addition to a healthy diet. And we we all know that mushrooms are a superfood that we all should be eating and utilizing our diet. So we know obviously this immune biotech gives us those mushrooms that have immune supporting effects. And as we discussed earlier, the immune system and extra, even the intraepithelial lymphocytes that surround the digestive tracts that protect us against bacteria and viruses also have, um, they're like defenders of the gates of the castle. And the same things that support the growth of the intraepithelial lymphocytes support the cell's resistance to DNA defects that in methylation defects that can accumulate and lead to cancer. So we can we have the ability now to measure the amount of defects and see how the cells are becoming abnormal. And then we have these green substances and mushroom extracts that reverse that and prevent that. So um, for anyone interested, I'll, I'll put a link to both of these down below this video with a discount code for everybody. Uh, put a, we put a great package deal together for you. But the two of the mushrooms I want to highlight in here as well is maitake, which we know that the ergothionines, ergothionines in mushrooms is one of the components or constituents that is associated with so many of these health benefits. And, and maitake mushrooms are one of the highest sources of that. And then reishi or reishi, depending on how you pronounce it, also known as Gonoderma lucidum. I learned about this mushroom probably 15 years ago when I was working with a, a, it was a mushroom tea and mushroom coffee company. And when I started digging into the research about it, I was blown away. There were literally hundreds and hundreds of studies on this mushroom. They call it the king of mushrooms. They call it the the king of longevity. It's got so many different names. They said it was, you know, there, there are all kinds of Kind of historical stories about it and mythologies about it that thousands of years ago it was only allowed to be eaten by the kings because they called it you know it gave you immortal life there's all this kind of ancient history behind it but all of the science today uh supporting its incredible health benefits um is amazing i mean if you want to look at probably i would guess the most studied mushroom today is reishi is gonoderma it's unbelievably well studied um, these mushrooms are, I know they're incredibly safe, but the, what's interesting to me is like how a little bit each day goes a long way. You don't need a lot, right? A little bit each day makes a significant impact. I mean, studies showing brain uh, cognition improvement, brain improvement, longevity, um, signaling cells, you know, anti-cancer effects, immune boosting effects. It's, it's incredible. And so, you know, in my point of things are that we that the natural lifespan for humans should be between 97 and 107 years old so i'm saying the there's people living to the 78 and they're and they're having a poor quality of life and they're becoming medically crippled medically dependent medically tortured and that we really have the nutritional advances in science that enable us to not deteriorate maintain our physical capacity and mental capacity and live a long life without medical interference and invasive medical procedures and, and drugs. So, and, and, but very few of us take advantage of all this, these advances in nutritional science that we have available to us. So you mentioned another study that combined or that looked at mushrooms with green tea. Now I know you have the mushrooms in one of these and then in the other one you have um, a very specific kind of green tea. Talk about those studies again. We, we also know the green tea by itself, the studies on green tea, incredible anti-cancer properties, longevity properties, immune boosting properties. But why this specific kind of, you know, complex green tea that you have in here? It's an organic extract uh, of green tea and then how these are synergistic together. Right. The, 
so we talked about the immune biotech, which is mostly the extract of mushrooms with the astragalus. can only fit so much into a pill. But the second one, the called the ultracell biotech, combines these specialized compounds from turmeric these, and a special curcumin blends that are highly absorbable with the pepper, mixed peppers extract that makes the blends more absorbable with certain types of green tea compounds and green tea select. The, the compound that's been studied to reduce, uh, be able to reverse early stage cancers in particular in this one 2014 study I'm talking about, um, it's called green select phytosome. We were talking earlier that that um, you can put different types of green tea extract, but when you want to pick or different types of turmeric, or, or, you know, but but when you pick the the one that's been most absorbable, most effective to with shown in the scientific studies that are testing it to have more effective immune supporting and anti cancer effects, and that's that. You know, one one of the studies I'm mentioning in two, the 214 study, it had 44 individuals whose test, their ENOX2 protein test, which is a sign of early markers of cancer, of early cancer markers in the blood. So 44 with a positive early marker of cancer in the blood. And after taking a combination of uh, this certain type of green tea extract with these curcumin compounds derived from turmeric. Again, we're using it synergistically as two things together. And I'm, we're doing it with mushrooms too, by the way. But in any case, just we're talking about the turmeric extracts and they're, they're special, not just using black turmeric and turmeric and turmeric itself, but also the curcumin C3 complex derived from turmeric to be more readily absorbable and to get it into the bloodstream to mix with the with these certain types of absorbable green tea called the green select phytosome complex. And so in this study, 41 of the 44 individuals, that's 94%, had their ENOX2 protein test come back negative. That means the early stage cancers disappeared from the blood and they didn't change their diet to the nutritarian diet that I recommend and start including the mushrooms and the onions and all these special foods. They just added a supplement that had the green tea and this curcumin extracts in it and 94% 90, of them reversed their early cancer markers. So that yeah. was initially started to impress me. But obviously we're, we're mentioning one study when there's obviously scores of studies or you could say hundreds of studies on these compounds. And when you're looking to design a supplement to be a to supplement an excellent diet to do everything right, then we're dealing with an individual with individuals who want to do what's best. And so that's my niche to make things for individuals who want to do what's very best and have the very highest quality ingredients, not the, not the, you know the, not the cheapest ingredients that you can but the ones that are really proven in studies and more effectively, to more give more effective results, and we we can't say oh you know with, because of FDA requirements we can't say oh take this to fight cancer, but of course we can say that there are studies that show that people who utilize mushroom extracts have low rates of cancer. People who utilize these substances, the green tea and the curcumin, have low rates of cancer. We can not say that, and you can also say the studies that they're available. We don't have to hide them. The available studies show that when you've given some of these foods and extracts to people who have early stage cancers, we see them a lot of them get better. Or, you know, and the same thing we've seen with um, with breast cancer and the lignans from flax seeds that, for example, that you, they follow people who have breast cancer and they follow them for 10 years. And we see about a 70 percent reduction in breast cancer deaths among women with breast cancer when they're taking in lignans from flax seeds every day. From like the, so the same thing here. We see studies on people with cancer having less recurrences and people are less, you know, less death and people who are and, and following people long term for, for epidemiologic studies following long term. We see lower rates of people developing cancer when they include these substances in their diet. On that study you were talking about that has that uh, looked at the green select and the uh, curcumin extract together. Do you remember what the, the dosage amounts and, and the length of time uh, people were taking those? No, not, I don't remember the exact dosages, but I designed the supplement to be the, of the highest quality to meet the demands of that study and to at least achieve that. But I do have a, um, and, and also I think they were taking it for six months and retest, and retested the, um, the blood markers. Obviously, things take time, but um, and I do like, for example, even though I designed that ultra cell biotech based on the result of that 2014 study, but I've obviously accumulated hundreds of other studies to support that. And then 
because I have a lot of people that come to see me, either they have high cancer risk or they have early stage cancers, right? And then you, you wanna give them the right dietary and supplemental advice. But also um, I'm taking them myself into my family and to my people who, and, but not in the same dose I'm giving them for people who have a, a, definite, a definite serious issue. So those individuals, they're taking it round the clock so they don't have a gap in the dosage. And for me, I'm taking like one with breakfast and one with dinner. You know, I'm just like, I'm, I'm taking two a day of the immune and two a day of the ultra cell. But for those individuals who have a more serious issue, they're taking seven o'clock in the morning, 12 noon, five o'clock PM and 10 o'clock PM. So they take it like spread it out through the whole day. So there's never a point in the, where they don't have these the, these compounds circulating in the bloodstream. And for two, some people- and they're taking two, know, two capsules of each four times a day. Is that what it comes to? No, no, they're taking one capsule four times a day. And for people who are, you know, I'm with more advanced, with advanced conditions, I'm trying to hit, I'll even tell them when they wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom between one o'clock and four in the morning, take another capsule, just have your water next to your bed and take another capsule because we're trying to have the, the cells that are, that are, that have, that may, might be excessively replicating, never have a chance to breathe, never have a chance to replicate freely. They're always suppressed with these compounds circling the bloodstream. But I'm, I'm not doing that for healthy people. For healthy people, for immune protection, we're just taking uh, two a day. We're not trying to space them out and take the amount that was more consistent with the people who had the ENOX protein in that study. Yeah, so ma so maintenance, you know, sick sickness prevention, if you will, just health optimization. You take two of the biotech and two of the ultra cell, two for the immune and two of the ultra cell per day. And then um, when you're, you have your patients there that you're working with, you're, you're giving them four of each, but spread out throughout the day. Give a few sometimes, hours. Between sometimes each. five. Sometimes, sometimes five. in the middle of the night as well, because there are people who have serious conditions. With that's actually not too bad. I mean, that's not bad at all. I mean, I know, I hear people that, um, get, I think, pretty bad nutritional advice where they're taking 60, 70, 80 capsules a day. And I mean, that has just got to be clogging up the digestive system. I mean, you should be getting more of those nutrients from your food and then getting the very specific supplementation that you need for your condition. But, you know, taking 70, 80 capsules a day has just got to be murder. And, I mean, and they're taking things that are potentially harmful. They're taking things based on false um, advertisement and, and, and not good enough science. And that's with regard to looking for poisons. They're trying to take poisons to kill cancer cells. And then you take the, then people believe that, that these things and they take these poisons when they don't have cancer, that, that could be detrimental to their health. And so this is not poisoning cancer cells. This is taking immune supporting substances that don't allow cells to overly, to replicate at high speed. You know, the cells that are replicating at high speed, the replication is suppressed. So, so the, the bottom line here is that, um, that these are substances that are not harmful to people. They're helpful to healthy people and helpful to people that have health issues as well. We're not looking to give. So there's a big difference between doing this and taking potentially toxic substances in your desire to look for alternative medical treatments. And then, of course, you know, we want to combine it. With the with an excellent diet that has anti-cancer potential and longevity promoting effects, so we have so it's combining all this in for the health seeker who want to do what's very best, and that's where what would I what I'm my specialty is to not to appeal to the masses who just want to who are looking for a magic pill, but for people who really want to look at the whole picture. That means stop eating flour, stop eating junk food, stop eating meat, stop eating processed foods, and start and start flooding your body with these beneficial substances that enable us to age slower, live longer, and live without fear. And that's you know I I I think that's essential. We've got to get the foundation part right. And uh, along with this package, your team has included the Transformation Twenty. It's a twenty day you know, infection protection transformation PDF guide. So you get that absolutely free. I know it's normally something, you know, people have to go to your website and purchase it. It's really well done, by the way. Um, but you get you get the guide and then there is um, a daily menu in there as well based on all of your research around what you have coined as a nutritarian diet, right? Shopping lists, recipes, make it taste good. 
and make it so people get a feel of how they're supposed to eat. And then they can take it from there and, and they'll know what to do and how to make, make it taste good too. So this is a, 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 it's a way, it's a whole lifestyle of living for great health. And I know I started that infection protection packages because people with COVID were just thinking of, it was all about taking drugs and taking the vaccines. And it was not about trying to improve your personal health. And, and, and that we left, we lost that opportunity for people to use the, the fear of COVID to motivate them to make major and permanent changes in their, in their, in their health lifestyle practices, you know, which could have benefited all these diseases that are, that are people are at risk of. Well, and there was a study I remember sharing, it was early on in, in the pandemic where it might have been six months or, or a year into it, I can't remember, but they, they looked at people who were on a whole food, nutrient dense, more plant based diet, and they saw a massive reduction in COVID deaths and COVID mortality and COVID um, hospitalizations from people who were on that diet versus people who weren't. I, I don't want to, I think it, I think it was like somewhere into 70% plus. I don't remember exactly, but it was somewhere, I remember somewhere between like 60 to 80% reduction um, by having a, a healthy diet. I mean, of course. So much, wanna... we, could do. So much we could do. We have the power to protect ourselves. And it's you mix nutritional excellence, which I call a nutritarian diet, with the avoidance of toxic substances and the avoidance of supplemental ingredients that are toxic, like folic acid, vitamin A, beta carotene, vitamin E. People are popping things that are not good for them that even can promote cancer. And now I'm making it clear in this, in this message that that certain supplement ingredient, like folic acid, promotes cancer. We get folate from food. It's not the same synthetic compound that folic acid is like a pharmaceutical product. So the people should be in the folic acid getting tons of folate from real vegetables. And so there's a lot of supplemental ingredients that are harmful that people take as well. Well, I know you have some other powerhouses in here um, in the immune biotech, which is like elderberry juice. I'm sure everybody has heard of uh, organic elderberry by now, uh, organic sun fiber, organic astragalus. We know astragalus is amazing for a lot of different things. Uh, blueberry, lyceum extract, raspberry, um, and then the beta glucans. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Well, there are particular substances that are mushroom derived, and we have a, a higher amount of beta glucans circulating. It does have the ability to increase the immune recognition of the, the the, the body's immune recognition of abnormal cells. So it's amazing the way the immune system works. I'm fascinated by it. The fact that our immune system is dependent on compounds found in mushrooms, like even an ergothenine. There's an ergothenine receptor on the surfaces of our cells. Why would there be an ergothenine receptor for a compound found so highly in mushrooms if there wasn't some symbiotic relationship that we have with these substances? So, you know, that's where the money's at, onions, green cruciferous vegetables, um, mushrooms, and all, you know, these foods are very, very powerful. And, and these, and when taken in the right amounts and the right variety, we have this unique opportunity to have a variety of these substances. Take a little extra stragulus, take it in with a lot of flavonoids and take the full, the full spectrum of different types of mushrooms. It gives us tremendous protection, immune protection. Yeah, and so, um, for those who are interested, there is a package discount deal for you that includes both of these synergistic products together with the Transformation 20 guide and the uh, meal plan um, and an additional $10 off when you use the coupon code PANACEA, P-A-N-A-C-E-A, PANACEA at checkout. Um, click the link below this video and you'll see the discount code there the link will take you right to the page where you can get this uh package deal and i know you know you can go to amazon for example and search up mushroom blend or immune blend or whatever and you might find some 30 or 40 or 50 dollar product there right but what i have found in researching supplements over the years and i'd love for you to talk a little bit about this dr Furman is more often than not, and I've, I've actually looked into manufacturing my own supplement line, so I know what it takes to, to source uh, where the sourcing comes from, to look into 
the sourcing, to talk to the manufacturers, to see what the, the most common industry supplements use and do. And unfortunately, most of them are sourcing the cheapest ingredients without testing for heavy metals and toxins and things like that. They're, they're sourcing ingredients that are you know, coming from China that are sprayed with all kinds of pesticides um, that have been sitting on shelves for years. You know, they're sourcing really cheap, low potency ingredients um, and then putting them into these products, putting beautiful marketing and labeling on them that makes you think that, oh, it's all good and healthy. But then you put that in your body and you're, you know, and they're in really low doses and there's no real science behind them. There's no doctor and scientist behind it that says, hey, what's all the science saying? How many, you know, milligrams do we actually need of each? Is there a real synergistic blend? They just throw 20 or 30 ingredients into a bottle that sounds good and then put the cheapest ingredients and the lowest dosages in there and then sell it super cheap. And people think, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting good quality stuff. And you're not. I, I mean, I can tell you right now, most of at least what I've seen on the market on Amazon and at health food stores, I'd say 80% or more of what I've seen, maybe 90% of it is junk and I wouldn't put it in my body. I just wouldn't because there's, it, you may be doing more harm than good. Maybe not harm with some of it, but some of it may be harmful. Um, and so I know you're really passionate as a, as a doctor, as a health researcher, as a scientist, as a nutritional scientist to make sure that the quality is the highest quality, it's pure ingredients, it's all organic, um, and that it's in the right dosages. So can you talk a little bit about your thinking that went into sourcing these ingredients? Yes, you're making some important points because it's not really being a doctor as much as it's my integrity as a person, I think, that when I'm looking to make a product, you can make a product at any price point you want. You could make it, you can buy the, like there's 10 grades of pomegranate extracts. There's 10 grades of green tea. You can pick one that costs um, one fifth the price. So you can pick, well, why is the one that's most expensive five times more money to put in my product going to be so much better? Well, it has this amount of studies behind it. It's been tested for purity. The academy and lead levels are low, the blah, blah, blah. And, and, and they've, and it's been, so it's, the, it's been tested for purity, but also tested for effectiveness. And, and use that, that's the exact one that's been done in the, that they use, that the scientists and researchers use in the study to show that we're telling, we're putting a study up to show the effectiveness of it. We got to make sure we're using the same kind of compounds from the green tea that are used in the study or we don't. So the point is, is that um, when I'm designing this for my patients, for my family, for myself, for the people I care about, it's all about picking the very finest. And in many cases, um, the most costly ingredient to put in because i'm not looking to make the cheapest supplement i'm looking to make the the the, the most quality i could possibly make regardless of cost um and so but, but if we're doing it together and we're um obviously um you know by by putting it together then at least i can have make it available to the public you know you're making it for your friends family your patients making it available public we can keep the cost somewhat relatively down low um, make it affordable but we're picking the very most expensive finest highly tested and most and most um, clinically tested ingredients as well yeah i mean you're not making 20x profit on these i mean i know a guy that's got you know he'll buy the cheapest cheese and he's made millions of dollars on supplements and i feel sad for the people who buy his products um because He'll buy super cheap ingredients, 50 cents on the dollar, and then mark it up 20x. And he's making millions of dollars, but people are getting these really cheap, poor quality, low dosages of quote unquote healthy ingredient supplements. And they're just, you know, in, in a lot of those cases, just about the money. And obviously, you're not in that case. You're, you're, you know, these are, these, you will pay a little more for these, but it's an investment into your health because you are investing into, uh, into well-researched, high-quality products. That's why I take these. I highly recommend uh, if anyone is interested in immune enhancement, um, go check it out. We got a special offer for you below this video. You can click that link and check it out. Um, again, you know, we're not saying if you take these, it's going to get rid of your cancer. It's going to get rid of your disease. It's going to get rid of your virus or whatever. But you know what, Dr. Furman obviously is saying is he has looked at the research he chose these ingredients specifically for all of their health promoting benefits their anti-cancer properties their immune boosting properties and you know he's 
uh, confident that uh, this is what he gives his own patients and his own family and himself. And because of that, I give it to my, I take it for myself as well and give it to my family. So those of you tuning in, I want you to have the highest quality, most researched, well-tested products there are out there for your own health. So if that's your interest, um, get some for yourself. And, uh, and I highly recommend you stick with it. As you said, some of these studies showed, you know, it was six months later. So it's not like, hey, you take it for a few days or a month or whatever, and then stop taking it. It's like, hey, find the high quality stuff that has the most research behind it and then just stick to it you know stick to it you know make it a habit make it a daily routine um and uh and and see you know how it might improve your health all right dr Fer I, I don't know if you were saying something there i don't know if you were muted um but any final anything else um you wanted to share as we wrap up here no, just that I think you hit it on the head that it's about my satisfaction, my reward is getting is getting people healthy, keeping them healthy and maximizing their health. And I've got I'm very grateful and blessed to be able to work with so many individuals and have affected so many individuals through through my writing and also through my advocacy of the dietary recommendations and the products I've developed. I just feel like it's it's giving people the opportunity to have um, greater health. And that's what really gives me um the reward I'm um, blessed to have to have. Absolutely. Yeah, it's incredibly fulfilling. I'm grateful for you. Thanks for taking the time. And uh, everybody tuning in, we wish you so much health and happiness. Take care. Mm -hmm.